Do you want to find out what my top 21 sales for 2021 were? If so, stick around. Hi guys, I'm Lisa's Finding a Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needed to find a redo and I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, and making YouTube videos. So, as I said previously, we're here for my top 21 sales for 2021. Now, this is a collaboration that Becky Park has coordinated. And if you have not seen Becky Park, well, I'm sure you have. She, she's just incredible. You need to go watch her videos. Also, you need to go watch all the videos of the people who participated in the collaboration. And I will have it down there in the description as to who all participated in this collaboration. So, you ready to get started? I'm gonna go in reverse order so we build up the final. So the 21st top sale was a vintage Reebok puffer coat. Um, and this sold in September and it sold for, now this, this first amount is with shipping. And I'm gonna give you all the amounts including what I paid for it. Now I had to figure out some way to stop, you know, to figure out where my 21 were. So I did not include cost of goods when determining my top 21. But as you can see, only a couple of them were very high. The rest of them were all relatively low. So that Reebok puffer coat, the buyer paid $74.35 for it. Uh, it cost the fees and shipping were $23.91, and I had a profit of $50.44. Now, like I said, that does not include the $5 I spent on the coat. I actually think it was less, but I know it was no more than $5. Uh, but that sold in September, so right before it was going to get cold. The thing about this coat, and I do not have a picture of it. I do, um, with eBay, and all of my top sales came from eBay. With eBay, they, after 90 days, your listing, it's semi-gone. You can get to it in your performance, but you can't see the image, okay? So this was a really cool green Reebok jacket, and I'm including a Google pick of a similar one, but mine, what I think was so cool was in large stitch letters on the back, it had the word Reebok. And so that's what I think sold it. It was just really, you know, it was really nice. It didn't have any affiliation to the Packers or anything like that. It was just this nice Reebok green coat. Number 20 was a pair of Tory Burch Murray sneakers and the buyer was all in for $69.35, and this sold in June of this year. It cost $18.21 for fees and shipping, so I made a profit of $51.14, and I paid $4 for these. Again, if, if the, it didn't sell in October, November, or December, you're just gonna see a similar image. These are the same shoes, it's just not the image. That, um, that I put in my listing. It's a good image, but I don't generally, unless it's just such, so, so, so hard to show how good it is, I don't usually do stock images. Uh, I have probably maybe 10, 12 times in all of my listings. I just, I didn't take it, so I'm not gonna use it. Um, that's, that's how I feel. You can do whatever. I mean, I look at them, I think it's great. You know, it's like, gosh, that looks a lot better on in that stock image than it did in mine. So I did pay $4 for those. My 19th best sale was a pair of Kuru Alta Chukka boots, and those just sold here in December, and they sold all in for $78. The fees and shipping were $27.66, so I made a profit of $51.34, and I did pay $6 for those one of the higher things that I paid. The next item, number 18. Oh, with the Al Curato, you did see an image. This was actually the sold image from the shoes. The 18th item was a pair of Tory Burch patchwork pants. 
and these were all, the buyer was all in for sixty five dollars. It uh, cost thirteen thirty three uh, for shipping now and fees. Now generally, I buy if I don't ship it if I don't ship something fifty dollars or more priority, then I do buy a little extra insurance. Um, you know, I I just don't you know I don't really want to lose fifty dollars worth of stuff. So my profit on that was fifty one sixty seven, and these sold in February. And these were a Ben's fine. So I paid less than a dollar. I put down a dollar, but I paid less than a dollar because they were very, very lightweight. The number 17 item was a pair of Baker Benji's loafers. And the buyer was all in for $69.35. The... Uh, I don't have this sold in March, so you're seeing a stock image. Um, but the buyer, sorry, shipping and fees were $16.76 and for a profit of $52.59. I did pay $4 for these. You know, it's pretty funny. You're going to see a couple of um, designer items uh, that I paid more for that are on this list. But that's the only once. The rest of them I thrifted myself. So, you know, I love getting the thread up boxes. I love getting the Goodwill boxes. But don't think that you have to, um, you know, you're only going to find really good items by getting those boxes. Because if you get out and thrift and you get out and find the little things, then you can make a lot of money on them. So the number 16 item was a pair of Manola Blonick Slingback Heels. This did come in a thread up designer box and it cost me $19.67. And these sold in September and they were kind of a snake skin print. And I, I'll be honest, I don't know if they were snake skin or not. I just put, I think I put snake skin print on them. Uh, they sold for $88.25. This was an international sale. So the shipping and fees was $33.10. So for a profit of fifty-five fifteen, but then if you take away the nineteen sixty-seven, I'm actually down in the thirties. But I had to figure out some way of doing this, and I kept thinking, do I do? No, I just had to do what my gross profit without my cost of goods. Number fifteen was a very unusual uh, sale. Normally with fit flop. I don't sell them very high, but this was a pair of fit flop ballet flats, and they were kind of, they kind of had a thick, they say flats, but they kind of had a thicker sole. Um, these, the buyer was all in for $68.96. Um, it cost me $13.47 for uh, shipping and fees because they went regular, um, first class mail, and I made a profit of $55.49, and these sold in February, and I paid $4 for them. Number 14 was a pair of Craddock Terry military dress shoes, and the buyer was all in for $77.90 on these. Now, let me tell you a story. Back a couple of years ago, of course, these sold in February, so that's almost been a year ago. So let's say, uh, yeah, a couple of years ago, two, two and a half years ago. I uh, went to one of my favorite thrift stores and they had these shoes and he said, you might like these. He said, I don't know really what to do with them. And I said, oh, well, yeah, sure. They're new. I'll take them. And he charged me $2. Well, they sat in a death pile and they sat in a death pile. And I'm not sure why, because I did comps when I bought them and knew they were pretty good, but I, you know, just didn't list them. So when I did finally sell them, the buyer was all in for $77.90. Shipping and fees were $21.46 for a profit of $56.44, and they did cost me $2. <laughs> so don't sit on your um, your dead death pile. Don't sit on them. You know, I, I've done really good to get rid of mine, except for the hard goods. But yeah, go pick them up. Okay, I, I think I have to get rid of my hard good fixation. Okay, the next item was uh, number 13, and it was a vintage PBJ jumpsuit. This is the only one I couldn't find a similar image for on Google. Um, 
I, there was just nothing similar. It was just a really cool jumpsuit. It did have a tear under the sleeves. I noted that. I didn't try to fix it with it vintage. I figure somebody wants to fix it well instead of me just fixing it. So it the buyer was all in for $74.36 and shipping and fees were $17.48. I for a total profit of $56.88. I bought this sold in September and I got these at the bins and they were a little more than a pound. So I put down, I got them for $2. Yeah, wonderful. You know, I have found some really good things in the bins. I live about an hour and 15 minutes from the closest one. I don't go a lot. It's kind of exhausting for me, but you know, when I go, I love it. The number 12 item was a pair of men's Heelys. Now Heelys are the shoes that have the, heat, that have the wheel in the back of them. These were men's size 11. So I think that's the reason. I've sold kids before for about $20, $25. They always sell. So if you see them, you know, at least check comps, but pick them up. But they sold all in for $88.70. Shipping um, was to, was $28.42. Shipping and fees were $28.42. These did go to Canada and it cost me about $15 to ship them. Still great deal. And then um, I was had a gross profit of $60.88, and these sold in September, and I paid uh, $4 for these. I'm sorry, they sold in June, not September. The number 11 on my list is a pair of Nike Hyperdunk basketball shoes. This is These were new. This was retail arbitrage, and I got them for a nine... 48, I think, plus tax. And they sold for $96.71. These did go overseas. Using Pirate Ship, I was able to ship them fairly cheaply. It was under $20. So my fees and everything were $28.52. And I had a profit of $68.19. I don't do retail arbitrage very much. I'm just not good at it. I love watching the videos on it. I think some of these people find some incredible incredible things on retail arbitrage. I just don't. I think it's because I don't look very hard. Number 10, and so we're to our top 10 items, was a vintage Carhartt teal jacket, and this sold just recently in December, and the buyer was all in for $93.70. The shipping and fees was $25.11, and I had a gross profit of $68.59, and I paid $4. It was $5. I got them at Salvation Army because I had more than $25. I got 20% off. So, you know, $4 for a vintage Carhartt. If you find vintage Carhartt, buy it. If it's even halfway reasonable, buy it because you're going to sell it. You're going to sell it. If you've watched any of Becky Park videos, she's done some really good videos and talked about how she sold vintage Carhartt. Well, this was vintage Carhartt. And, you know, the, I that was a great sale. I was very happy with it. The next item was a vintage FUDA, F-U-D-A, International Silk Track Suit. And this sold in June. And remember, if it sold any time before October, I'm just putting Google Images up here. I'm not putting my actual listing. Um... It sold for $101. The buyer pay, buyer's fees and shipping were $31.15. This was an international sale. And I had a profit of $69.85. And I bought this at a church yard sale for $2 in June. Yay. Actually, I think it was June last year. So I'd had it like a year and, you know, almost a year. Uh, the number eight was a pair of Testoni Chelsea ankle boots. And I just recently did sell these in November and the buyer was all in for $93.76. The he, shipping and fees cost 23, sorry, I'm getting some of these kind of mixed up. Um, 23.27 for, and I had a gross profit of 70.49. These did cost me $14.11 because I did buy them at a savers. 
and dummy me wasn't thinking that you only got the, at that point I got 20, I think I just had a 20% um, off coupon and it stops at 100. If I'd have just thought, I could have gotten 20% off of everything because I think I had another one, but that made me mad at myself, not at them. So number seven was a Vintage Lee Leisure Suit. And I bought this at my friendly little local um, thrift store. And I think I paid $4, I think. I think $2 for each piece. I might have paid only $2 because sometimes they only charge me a dollar. It just kind of depended. But the buyer was all in for $99.35. Shipping and fees was $26.54 for a gross profit of $72.81. And these, this sold last January. And again, I think I had $4 into them. Number six. Now this was probably my most, and I almost felt guilty, my most amazing guilty sale. I was at a church thrift store, um, St. Joe Fleet Market, you may have heard me mention it. And I always look at their shoes. They usually have some really nice shoes. I find a lot of my good shoes there. And so I'm looking through there and I see this pair of shoes. I'm thinking, this looks like Doc Martens. You know, the, the uh, sole and everything. That looks like Doc Martens. I, I, need, I need to, let me check this out. And they have a, um, another section that they put their priced items. But if they're not in that section and they don't have a mark on them, then it's, $4 for shoes and $7 for boots. So I was like, okay, let me look at them. See, they must be damaged. I pick them up. They are Doc Martens Clarissa 2 sandals. Now, I couldn't say they were new. They look new. And I just put them there like new because if they were worn, they were worn around the house because um, they didn't have any wear on the bottom. The buyer was all in for $99.35. The um, shipping and fees was $20.12, and I had a gross profit of $79, sorry, and 23 cents, and these sold in April, and I paid $4 for them. I mean, these, these were cool. They were really neat. You know, if they'd have been my size, I might have been tempted to keep, keep them. I'm kind of glad they weren't. Kind of glad they weren't. I, the money was nice. Okay, so the number five item was also a vintage find. It was a Torrid 2X Harry Potter collaboration. And it was new with tags, and I found it in the bins. Can you believe it? I mean, it was beautiful. There wasn't anything wrong with it. I thought, there's going to be something major wrong with it. But there wasn't a thing wrong with it. Not a thing. The buyer was all in for $127.30. The um, fees were... 28 fees and shipping were 2870 so I had a gross profit of $99.60 now these were this was kind of heavy so I'm guesstimating I think it was three pounds so I'm guesstimating our bins are $1.49 so I put down $4.50 for cost of goods this is before I started doing YouTube or anything like that and keeping up with everything a little bit better um, but this sold in last January so it's it's one of the older sales the number four top item was an Iceberg Jeans Donald Duck vintage t-shirt in a 2X. This was cool. When I got, I got this at the bins too. When I got it, I just thought it was cool. 2X, I could work sleep in. I get home, I run to um, comps and it's like, I ain't sleeping in that. The buyer was all in for $130.11. Shipping and fees were $24.23. So I made a gross profit of $105.88 off of the t-shirt. Now the image I'm showing you, this sold in February, so I'm just showing you a Google image. Mine was very similar to that, but it was bright yellow and the duck was completely white. So, you know, it, it was a little different than the image. My third highest item was a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo men's horse bit loafers. These were really pretty. Uh, I paid four dollars for these got these at Salvation Army the buyer was all in for $149.35 it cost me $30.22 to shipping and fees 
So I had a gross profit of $119.13, and these sold this August. So $4 into $119.13, I'll take that every time. The second highest priced item, uh, best sale, was a pair of new old stock Sony headphones. Now these are just some headphones that my son had gotten for a present probably 15 years ago. And um, they, the buyer was all in for $210.15. It cost $34.77 fees and shipping. The um, gross profit was $175.38, and they were free. You know, if I had had them for 15 years, 15 plus years probably, then it was free. And they sold this October. I didn't list them till September, and I've had them for over a year. Or I found them for over a year. Why? Why do we do things like that? You know, I knew they were going to sell and sell well. Why? Okay, so the top selling item this past year was a black Burberry black Novacek hood. It, the inside of the hood was Novacek trench coat. It was so pretty and so nice. Nothing wrong with it. I did get this in a Goodwill. Uh, I'm sorry, in a Thread Up designer box, and I paid $19.67. So, you know, it's because of things like this that you keep trying to get, you know, good deals in the Thread Up boxes. Um, the buyer was all in for $387. This was an international sale. My fees and shipping were $77.66. So I had a gross profit of $309.34. And this sold in August. My top sale. You know, wouldn't it be nice if all of our sales were that way? Hey, I just like to have the sales in the uh, 50. So I was happy that at least all my 21 items, I had a gross profit of over $50. So that made me happy. So what do you think about my sales? You know, normally I'm a bread and butter seller. Um, so when I when I agreed to do this, it was, you know, it was kind of hard. Am I gonna have 21 items that I can even put up there? But when I started looking, I had, you know, I was really pleased at 21 items over $50 gross profit. So I want to thank you for watching my video. And I hope you'll go watch all the other videos of all the people in the collaboration because I haven't yet done it because I've been busy at getting this video ready. But I'm going to go watch them in just a little bit and see all the wonderful things that my friends on YouTube have sold. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos by me, if you want to see what my 22 items in 2022 are, you hear all my clocks. I thought I could get this in before, but didn't quite make it. Um, but if you want to see all unboxings, what's sold, all that, then hit the subscribe button. And I want to thank you for coming out today. And I need you to do me one favor. I need you to go out and find your redo.